do what you got to do to win. I mean, that was not what I expected. I, I really expected a high-scoring game, but not quite to that level. Um, I thought we were capable of scoring those kind of points offensively, and you know, based off of what we saw. But did not expect that they would uh, have the night they did. And got to give them credit. I thought they threw and caught the ball as well as you possibly can. Um, and so we, uh, you know, we broke serve a couple times and, and found a way to put ourselves in a position to win it. On the road against a team that's really playing with a lot of confidence offense, that's what you got to do. The um, hopefully we're going to get out of it okay. I think we I think we lost Trent Ellis for the rest of the year. Uh, probably uh, ACL, MCL. <clears throat> I think everybody else is probably bumps and bruises. Uh, but we're going to need all hands on deck for a championship game against Troy next week. So you know, it was win or go home mentality. We talked about it all week. No points for second place. We don't believe in second place at our place. And so. Um, they did what they had to do to get it done. Appreciate all the folks that came out. We had a bunch of fans make the drive uh, on Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, it meant a lot to us. Did they do anything that you didn't really expect them to say they hadn't shown or just execution? Just really executed well. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's some wrinkles, but as 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 do any team, throw some wrinkles at you. But uh, mainly they just they really threw and caught well in one-on-one -on -one situations. They RPO'd us to death and uh, put guys in conflict. And, um, you know, just – I thought the quarterback, I thought Evans did a great job getting the ball around some big guys and they made plays. We knew that was a problem going in, and we did some different things along the way to try to change the looks, but at the end of the day, uh, you kind of live and die by it, and tonight was a night where they really made plays. We, we had the same issue, though. We, we threw and caught the ball pretty much at will most of the night in some of the same situations. It was kind of who was going to make a mistake first. What did you tell your team? here at the end in Ohio. Just congrats and, and love you to death, man. I love this group of guys that keep battling. Uh, wasn't pretty, but we found a way. And they earned the right to, to play for a championship. That's all it was about. Win our, win, win our way into it. Um, win our way into it. And uh, you know, do everything we got to do between now and, and next Saturday to get our bodies feeling better. Uh, try to hydrate, rest up, and, and, and put together a game plan and find a way to finish. Was it wild that uh, a game with so much offense that a defensive touchdown kind of sealed in one? Oh, yeah. Was, I think it was a great way to see our, our defense get a turnover and then score. Now, Blaze should have gone down and taken a knee, but uh, he's smarter than I am. He's, uh, he wanted to score. He saw he saw an end zone, so I'm glad he got in. <laughs> Big game for Justin McKinnis, so over 200 yards receiving career high for him tonight. Yeah. And uh, could have been bigger. I told him if he'd pick his feet up, he'd had he'd had more. He's, you know, I talked about him last week. He's one of those guys that his practice, uh, his practice details and work ethic and just the way he goes and approach, uh, he's getting better and better. And we uh, we're excited to get him when we did. But to watch the way he's developed over uh, that time, he's playing at a super high level. I thought Kendrick Edwards had a huge night as well. Uh, just really elevating to the ball and playing the ball above the rim. And we needed that because we knew they were going to play since the man covers. Ribs, he's been with them all year. Uh, just not in a position to go back, but should be fine by Saturday. How much now, that, now that the game is set with everything on the line, what is what is the magnitude of that game, knowing what's on the line, national television most likely? I mean, just... You know, it's, it's, it's what we're about. It's about finding a way to win titles. Uh, you know, we, we, we talked about that. And uh, we, we kind of take that no points for second place mentality. Um, it's a huge challenge against a really good football team. It's playing probably better the last three weeks than they have all year. Uh, so uh, it, it's about the big picture, though. It's, it's To me, it's it's take the next step. Uh, find a way to win it. Uh, find a way to uh, continue the legacy, make it six and seven years, and, uh, and just continue to do uh, what we set out to do. That, that was the goal in the beginning. That's still the goal. And we've, we've earned our right, right into it. We've earned our way into it. Now we got to find a way to finish against a really good football team. Once it started going back and forth like that, did you change the approach at all and adjustments? I mean, how did that affect it, knowing that it was probably going to take 60 points to win? Yeah, you know, just super aggressive offensively uh, at no point. You know, did ever feel like we were in a position to to be conservative. And so uh, we, we came in with that plan, and obviously we stuck to it. And if we could have gotten – you know, stretched out where we're up by three or four scores at any point, then maybe we'd have changed it. But just you never felt the momentum of the game changing that way. And so we just kept the hammer down. And I think that's when we're our best offense. Was it an automatic decision to send Sawyer Williams out there for the 46-yard field goal, or did you think about trying to, you know, convert the field Well, just, he, he's got plenty of left. Guys, he makes 55 yards in practice all the time. His has been consistency. So, um, 
just knew if we could make the field goal, what it would do to the mathematical probability of the game. And uh, we had to stop them anyway. I don't, they had already gone 99. So to me, it was worth the risk, and we knew he had enough leg, and he emailed it. it was a great kick by him. You know, once Green was returning the kicks like that, and then also on the offensive side, just how much did he change that game for you guys in adjusting? Well, we, we knew he was really good. We'd love not to kick to him, but there's really no way not to. Uh, we don't have the leg to kick it out, and uh, obviously you don't want to spend all night sky kicking and squibbing. Uh, so we tried to change it up, and I thought, I mean, he took advantage of the one he got on the run and hit it. Uh, I think it's four for the year. The dude is good. Uh, if there's a better kick return in the country, I don't know who he is. And, uh, you know, it just it just made it even more and more important to find one way, one stop, get one stop, break serve, uh, change the momentum of the game because we did feel like we could score offensively. And considering Sawyer's misses this season, how big was that one? To huge, huge kick. Uh, changed the whole dynamic of the game. You know, seven-point game, ten-point game at that point is – Especially with no timeout, with no timeouts left. Uh, huge kick, biggest of his career. Um, just your thoughts on Hanson, how good was he tonight? Man? Pretty dang good. I mean, not I the numbers at, are all. I, I don't even know what the numbers are. I just know, you know, he really did not turn the ball over. No, he had one pick, but he's trying to force a play. Uh, he distributed the ball, made great decisions, ran the ball. So I, I, it's one of the best games he's played all year, in my opinion. What about Kyle Martin and his two interceptions? Huge, huge. And, and the thing about Kyle was, you know, Kyle didn't start the season as he started. He's had to battle his way to that position, uh, and that's hard for a guy to do, especially a senior that came here expecting to have a chance to start and to keep a positive attitude, continue to work, and make the most of your opportunity. I think that's huge. It says a lot about the kid. How, was that, did that influence anything for you guys defensively, or how did that? Well, a lot of what they were doing in the first half was RPOs, so a lot of that's run game with throws built off of it. It takes a lot of the pass rush out of it. Uh, we felt like we had to get them behind the chains. We had to get them off schedule. And I thought that the pass rush did start taking effect later in the game. Our conditioning played a part too. But uh, it's hard to say what well, there's RPOs with run game built in. They got run responsibilities. And we got to defend in the back end. And, and that's, we do the same thing. It's a lot of pressure on the defense when you, when you are clicking and throwing and catching the ball well. It makes it really tough to defend. And, and they work.